Hello guys, this is Pawan from Ambidotronics. So today we will learn uh, as uh, you know we have started our ESP IDEA based tutorial. So here in this tutorial we will learn how we can use Arduino as a component in ESP IDEA. So uh, this will help uh, basically uh, uh, using means like we can use Arduino as a library any library based on Arduino in ESP IDEA for or directly any project which is running on Arduino ID we can import directly to uh, ESP IDEA by using uh, Arduino as a component so what we will do we will just go to file first we will just create a new specificity of project from here shortcut only we can do that so here give it a name let's say uh, Arduino as component okay this name I have given now finish so this is a template project we just created now what we need to do we need to uh, just uh, open our uh, uh, command oh powershell so so this is our powershell so here uh, we will just navigate to our project which we have just created so all the process we will do through command line only so cd uh, workspace and then cd arduino as component okay so here uh, we have the list of commands if I'll just open my notepad so here are some list of commands so first of all we need to create components folder inside our directory so what I'll do is copy and paste here so here components project folder is created now we will just do cd components we will move uh, to that directory so this way cd components and now uh, we need to clone the Arduino ESP32 uh, uh, lab, the whole uh, git repository so and uh, we will give it a name Arduino so we'll, what we will do we will just click here and we will run this so cloning into Arduino and um, this will take uh, a while uh, so uh, might be this will take around uh, uh, near about 3 to 4 minutes so okay for, for the time being I'll just pause the video and uh, let it let it be completed first and then we will jump to another commands and we'll see how we can uh, do some other stuffs uh, on that so okay uh, let's pause the video for a while okay so it is about to finish uh, resolving data deltas and updating files so after that uh, it will uh, all the uh, dependencies uh, as a component it will just put on this folder components and uh, okay so now we will just move to our another command we will just move to uh, Arduino folder so we will just cd Arduino change cd means change directory so Arduino and then git uh, sub module update in it recursive so this command we will give and then we need to give one more command uh, we need to just back to the our project folder and uh, uh, we need to run last this command just to check whether we succeed or not so idf.py menu config so it will just uh, give us uh, show us the blue screen where we can configure the Arduino configuration so let's uh, see this thing okay okay so uh, we are we are facing one error cmake error component Arduino cmake lists dot txt 
uh, ESP Arduino request config uh, free autos hertz equals to 1000 currently 100 so this error I found uh, uh, in this CMake list uh, uh, so uh, this this error I resolved by just putting uh, if I'll just move to my project first so here this is Arduino as component or let me refresh this thing so that we will see the component folder here so here you can see this is the component folder this is the Arduino and here is the CMake list so here this in this CMake list if I will search this particular thing where we are seeing this error so so this uh, in this uh, configure free are or autos hertz equal thousand so here in this error it is saying currently hundred so currently 100 means uh, when I just change this value to 100 so I found this error just res got resolved so I'll just do that thing 100 okay and uh, we'll just save this thing let it uh, build C, C plus indexer so we'll come back again let it be happen okay so now as I changed from 1000 to 100 this value and now if I just uh, run this command then I, I, I will just uh, get the configuration uh, let's see so here you can see uh, stk tool configuration build tab reflection manager and here we have the Arduino configuration so here in this case if uh, you want uh, the the traditional Arduino setup and loop kind of thing then you you have to uh, tick uh, select this thing by just uh, entering or ticking this thing so auto start Arduino and setup and loop on boot it will be start otherwise you can just uh, uh, come back and uh, using only app main and uh, this thing uh, you can uh, go to uh, even in expressive website if you will just uh, go to uh, um, if I'll search Arduino as a component in ESP IDF so here in this uh, case uh, they have given one example so either you can choose this thing so first we will just write this thing okay we will just directly go to ESP IDF app main uh, using this so before uh, using this uh, app main thing in Arduino component as, as a component you have to use external C so that it will use as a dot cpp file so here i'll just copy this and uh, i'll just paste it here and what i'll do i'll just uh, uh, rename this main dot c to main dot cpp okay and in cmake list here in main.c we will write cpp so now if i'll just build from here itself so it will compile again it will take a um, while just at uh, two three minutes so we'll come back again and uh, let's uh, let's just start it this thing so uh, here it is going to start the compilation process so it is about to complete
so here is our main.cpp here you can see all the errors uh, and anything we, we are not seeing now so i'll just connect my board and uh, we'll see it will print serial print ln loop uh, to uh, this so let's just connect as my esp32 now what will we do we will just upload this code let me close all the thing so let's uh, complete this cc plus plus indexer first then we will upload this first we will make sure which is uh, 32 we have selected com port is com4 finish and uh, from here we will just uh, upload the code ok so let's upload this code we we'll press the boot button now we will just open the serial monitor any serial monitor so let me open the dock light so here you can see it's printing loop uh, as you have printed loop here in this case so uh, so in this way you can uh, use Arduino as a component uh, so I hope you like this tutorial if you have any doubt regarding this just feel free to comment us below uh, so thank you guys thank you very much